dude that is intense and that is even more intense and that's more intense and look I can make it more intense still even more intense and I can make it less intense so notice that it's getting less intense here very little intensity now we're going to start out looking at electric field intensity and it's actually a fairly simple concept you're already familiar with fields like gravitational fields and when you were playing electric field hockey you were also seeing fields being created or areas that had direction and magnitude in a given space and so you can see the field is represented here by the arrows and by how dark the arrows are so the field changes everywhere around this particular charge so field intensity really means force per unit where force is a vector quantity so for example the earth has a gravitational field of 9.8 newtons for every kilogram towards the center and that's when you're on the surface of the earth and the magnitude here is easy to calculate we know how to calculate the force of gravity between two bodies we just have to figure out how much it is per unit and so we're just going to divide this by the mass of the second body however many kilograms that is and this is going to give us newtons per kilogram and so we just take our Newton's law of gravitation here and we divide it by the second mass and we end up with this simplified version g big m over r squared this tells us the magnitude of the gravitational field around a body with mass big m at a distance r away from it and so very simple idea just related to the force of gravity now electric field intensity is measured in newtons per coulomb so like a kilogram measures mass a coulomb measures charge so you're going to be investigating the nature of the relationship between force around a unit charge at a distance from that charge and that is going to give you an idea of how field intensity behaves around a unit charge so here's your lab setup you can just grab charge over here so here is a single unit of charge and these are in nano coulombs and I've turned on the grid here and I can see when I put my electric field sensor in here I can see the size of what is basically the force vector and so when I'm examining the relationship between charge and force what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that from one nanocoulomb to two nanocoulombs and I'm going to see what happens to the force vector there I'm going to decide if that's a proportional relationship inversely proportional proportional to the square etc etc now the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to investigate the nature of the relationship between force and distance from that point charge and so I'm going to take this and I'm going to do my best to measure that arrow and I'm going to double the distance and measure the arrow and I'm going to see what's happening to that proportionality relationship okay I doubled the distance again and I'm going to see what happened to that arrow so that's your first investigation